we found out this afternoon that uh, the Department of Transportation and Works hired an outside contractor to go out and take down the posters that uh, your group put up over the weekend, the posters that were within kind of the Pippi Park border. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I think it's a little ridiculous. I don't understand why they're using taxpayers' money to do that. And uh, I don't know, the only thing I can figure is that uh, perhaps Ball's own people are, are sick of looking at his face too. Now the minister says he didn't know about this. This was done without his permission. It wasn't his call. What are your thoughts on that? I'm wondering whose call it is. I mean, the uh, the minister, or the, sorry, the uh, Department of Transportation works workers, or like who hired them, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think they would have went out on their own recognizance and uh, took down the posters. So. I don't know if anybody is really that much of a liberal fan these days. What do you think of the optics of this, regardless of whose call it was? The fact that, you know, government went out and took down these pol politically charged posters, what do you think about the optics of it? It's uh, quite the infringement of our right to free speech. Now, the Premier didn't speak on this today. He didn't come out to speak with the media at all today. Uh, what do you think about that? I think he's afraid and he's embarrassed, and uh, I'd call on Dwight Ball now to resign. And why did you put up those posters to begin with? Uh, there's a lot of people in this province with a lot to lose, and uh, when, the, when the budget came down, uh, people, people stopped asking and started demanding. Mm -hmm. It's so you time wanna, for a change. You want to put up pressure on Dwight Ball to resign? Absolutely. Yeah, we think it's the only choice right now. If, uh, if Dwight Ball resigns, the government falls, uh, we'll have a new election and, uh, and see if we can change the system that we're in because uh, the people have realized that they made a mistake. Uh, they, didn't wanna, they didn't intend to vote in people that are going to lie and tell half-truths. Uh, we wanted transparency, we wanted open government, and we're not getting that one bit. Considering what happened with the posters being taken down, do you think that uh, the posters kind of struck a nerve within government? <laughs> Absolutely, it struck a nerve for sure. Now, the minister did say today that if you want to put the posters back up in that area where they were taken down, uh, you can certainly do so. Will you be doing that? Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see if they're going to take them back down, but yeah, absolutely, we'll be putting the posters back up and we'll be putting, uh, we've got another 200 printed right now and uh, there are people all across the province that want these posters, they want the PDF file, they want to print their own, they want to put them in their windows. There's lots of people going around with them in their car windows now already, uh, people in their living room windows, so we're uh, looking forward to see what comes of this and hopefully it spreads across the province and I'm sure it will, there's so much interest. So what's next for your group now? Uh, we have quite a few things in the works. Um, there's a, a fellow, Mark Croft, with FreeNL, who's having a, an Occupy Government uh, event on Wednesday. It'll be a, a march, I believe, from the Arts and Culture Centre. I think it's at 2.30. And uh, the intention is to march to Confederation Building, march around Confederation Building, and, uh, and enter the gallery. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure what's going to happen from there. And there's, there's all sorts of other things. We have so many plans in the works. Uh, it should be interesting to see. So you plan to keep the pressure on? Absolutely, for as long as possible, uh, un until Dwight Ball resigns. That's the goal.